Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to um, um to another uh, well another uh, trailer, well, not a reaction though, but more my thoughts, right? Well, it shows you know once again how well. I mean, listen, I I, I don't like horror. Well, horror films for the past few for the, over the past few years have been pretty good to me, so, you know. I mean, last year I liked Nope from Jordan Peele. I liked the Black Phone. Um, in 2019, I liked Crawl. That was a good film from, from director Alexander Aja. Um, I, I even liked the Child's Play remake. I'm very one of the one of the very few people that likes the Child's Play remake from 2019. Um, but um, but recent horror films, you know, uh, I, forgot, I forgot what was in. 2021 I forget my mind my mind's in the fritz right now but um I know this play by the past over the past few years there's been a lot of horror films I've enjoyed but of course there's some ones I've had that I've actually have not but from the pet cemetery remake to the Halloween the new Halloween trilogy I hated Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2022. I'm like sequels. It's just unnecessary sequels or whatever. They just they're just absolute, absolute shit. I mean the new the twenty the I mean the Halloween ones have been, been the recent have been the most recent shit ones I've seen. As you know, it's too bad because I've 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 always liked Michael Myers. My the of the of the Boogeyman has been my favorite though, but they just just. Pushing them out, you know, but beside the point, though. So, th I re did another trailer reaction to a, for another sequel that's not needed Exorcist the Believer. Typical generic, p typical generic, nothing new possession film. Oh, except for nostalgia, because you got Ellen Burstyn from the original Exorcist coming back, and we had the, the, the memorable classic Exorcist theme playing, you know, for nostalgia, right? Well, <clears throat> well, now uh, there's another new one. Well, the next Saw movie. Here we go. Once again, Saw X. Funny, yeah, because we're trying to capitalize on Fast X, you know, because as because Fax is the tenth. Well, technically the eleventh if you count Hobbs and Shaw, but Fast X. Now there, there comes out with a Saw X. I'm like, it's a, once again, it's another franchise that has run that has run its course. Another franchise that just needs to stop. Okay, it's run its course. Nothing new and nothing different has been done with this series already. <clears throat> so with Saw X, and we have Tobin Bell coming back because he's alive, because it takes place between the first and the second Saw film. So after like whatever that happens in the first Saw movie, and before Saw Two. Because John Kramer, to once again played by Tobin Bell, which who's a lot older in this, I'm like it takes place between Saw the first Saw one and Saw two, but here he looks much older because well he is older that's a thing. So he try he tries he tries he finds this um, group that he because he for trying to help cure his cancer, and he goes to Mexico. So there, there's different there's a different setting. It's in Mexico this time. Um, this group of people basically they they con him, they screw him over, like they think they they did they did the surgery on him, but it turns out they didn't, so they conned him, and so he gets basically a per, basically personal revenge on these people that screwed him over, basically. These people, each one that was involved in the con, in the in the in the scheme, and then once again you get Billy the puppet running on his tricycle once again. And one th the one positive I can say about this trailer is I like the music that's in this, that was playing in this trailer. That's pretty much about it. There's only pretty much a little positive saying I like the music that was playing in this trailer. I can't do this. I can't do this song, but so Billy Puppet once again on his freaking tricycle once again. He could, you know, I know it's I know it's a thing, but you know. They can stick the tricycle up his up, up his wooden ass, basically, Billy the Puppet. Stick your tricycle up your wooden ass. I'm not intimidated by a puppet with on a tricycle anymore. 
But anyway, yeah, and then you have uh, Tobin Bell watching from above through the wind, the window. I mean, what else has this been done? What else new has this has this uh, has this trail has this new stuff been given so far? He gets screwed over. Oh, it's in Mexico for a change. It, it, where it takes place in whatever city, which I don't know where it didn't ever tell what what city what city does the this whole Saw franchise took place in? You know where the whole basically the whole thing. You know some unknown city. I I don't ever know what it took place in for the whole those whole um. Saw franchise took place, except for this one because oh, it's in Mexico this time. But and um, so one guy he has, he has a drill hole in his head, and then one is strapped to a chair. Well, actually, two of them are strapped to chairs. One's on chains, another one's on chains, and then we see um, as the X is being zoomed in, we see John um, holding somebody. Uh, hugging somebody, and then we see Shawnee Smith in the pig mask once again with a short hair because his place took place. By the time we she was in Saw One and Saw Two, well, in flashbacks of those times she had the short hair or so. And then, um, oh, and by the way, some people were, were so excited because I remember when the, when the trailer was dropped, some people will say, "Oh, there was a voice, a familiar voice." Um. Um, because there was there was someone who was talking saying of all the people who who you conned or ripped off whatever, you had to choose John Kramer. That voice people are assuming that's um Costas uh, Mandalore, you know who played detective who played Detective Mark Mark Hoffman, from three through ten. I mean three through three through three through seven. Sorry, yeah three through seven because saw. Cause Saw Six and then Saw Three D as Saw Seven. Yeah, Detective Mark Hoffman's like of all the people who you con, you chose John Kramer. People are so assuming that's his. That's his voice. Well, because it makes sense because he, in, during, in, through flashbacks, you know, he was in league with him at that time. You know, in a flashback in one of the Saw films, he was setting up the trap, the house trap in Saw Two. So he was in with them at that time. So. And so, and what else has this? So, what else has this? Is this franchise has to offer? Okay, so this is the most personal game. This is John Kramer's personal, most personal revenge. These okay. One thing I gotta say: the first two Saw films I like, and then is when it started going downhill from Saw Three and onwards because. Oh, because because John Cra basically Tobin Bell is now a psychic. He knows how everything plays out. Everything goes exactly how the way it's supposed to be. He's a psychic, you know. Like Saw three and four, they were happy. They were both those movies were happening simultaneously, because yeah, they were both happening at the same time. So in each each one of those scenarios, both those movies were happening exactly the way it was supposed to happen. And then from and then onwards, like John Kramer, he's psychic now. I mean, not everything. Everything went perfectly right. He knew exactly how things would happen and whatever this and that, right? So, yeah. I mean, just like yeah, there's some pra yeah, there's some good practical gore and there's bits of CGI, especially in the later ones. But the thing is, though, it's just. I mean, you can't just win with gore alone, okay? Like I said before, with horror films, you can't just win with just gore by itself. But yeah, the, the first two I liked, but the, after Saw Three, you know, it just became like just so predictable. You know, oh, this is a trap. It's it, it's almost be the whole Saw franchise is basically being this. It's like being the same thing basically. It's be each one is basically like the same movie. You know, it's different characters. I mean, I mean, the only one that was trying to be different was Spiral, the one with uh, Chris Rock and Sam Jackson. You know, trying to be a little bit like Seven. You know, but. I mean, honestly, if you took the name that in Spiral, if it wasn't a Saw film, you know, it would, it would have been a different movie. I mean, trying to be a little like Seven, you know, but trying to stay in the continuity, right, though. But it, it tried to be a, a little bit different. I mean, uh, uh, the killer, um, uh, a copycat, right, targeting cops. Well, crooked cops, right? I mean, I like Chris Rock, you know. I mean, different, uh, 
different role for him outside of his comedic uh, role. Well, there was some comedy he did in it, but like him starring in a horror film, I'm trying to say. So. But, um. Oh, by the way, the, the TV, uh, I had paused, or I had to turn off on it. Uh, the movie I was playing, off on, that's why you see the white screen there. So, pay no mind to, pay no mind to that. But, um. I mean, what more is this? Does this? What more can you do with this series? I mean, basically, it's a it's a filler ep, it's a filler movie because it takes place between the first and second Saw film. You know, it's 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 become predictable. You know how it's going to end. You know, because Toby Bell's obviously going to live. He's probably going to get away with all, everybody's going to die in this. I mean, what more can you do? I mean. I said the only pause I could think of of this for Gotham Street was because I, I liked the music that was playing in this. Just that. That's sad. I mean, he's trying to capitalize. I mean, if we got Fast X, hey, let's do Saw X now. And it's trying to keep in the continuity because like it brings Shawnee Smith back with the short hair because she had that. It, it would do through, through flashbacks of uh, the first. Uh, in the flashbacks, we would say for the first Saw movie, and then in Saw Two, you know, oh, Casas Mandalor, that's how his his, his uh, last name is. Mar Detect as Detective Mark Hoffman, you may have heard his voice in that one scene, in this trailer. So maybe he's coming back. I mean, what else new has this brought to the, this Saw franchise has has brought? Oh, it's a change. It's a change of setting instead of the typical whatever city it takes place in. Oh, it's in Mexico. Big deal. It's like with Evil Dead Rise, you know. Okay, so instead of in the woods, it's in a apartment complex in uh, our apartment right. Uh, apartment complex in L.A. Big deal. It doesn't mean jack squat. And and the Evil Dead Rise still Evil Dead Rise still sucked. Which I'll rant on that later on. But the same, just because you change your setting to a different from the same old setting to a different setting doesn't mean it's a good movie. And once again, you can't, and yeah, you may have you may have some practical gore or whatever, but that you can't just win with gore alone. There's a, I don't see I don't see what nothing new to this. I mean, Tobin Bell, yeah, because it's funny because he he's a lot older here, and then we watch if it takes place between one and two, and he's a lot older in this movie. It kind of seems off, right? <laughs> so. This 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 film was nothing. This film was brought nothing new to the franchise. And like I said, this film is once again it's another franchise that has overstayed its welcome and needs to stop. Okay, it's same with with Exorcist and among other franchises I've said in the past, Indiana Jones and pfft, forget about that. Other other series, many the Halloween, whatever, and all these other franchises like Scream. Yes, yeah, so yes, another one. Scream that needs to stop. What? All these franchises. What has brought? What? What new has it brought to any of these franchises? What? What's new? Especially in the horror. Especially in the horror genre. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What? Else? What? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know more I can say about Saw X. It's so nothing new, nothing original in this series that comes out. So I don't know what more I can say. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, and we'll see you next time. Hey, if you, if, if, if I said the, the first two, the first two I can tolerate. You know, well, 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 well I like the well, I like the first Saw film very much because it was something different and unique. Saw two, I can I can tolerate, I can watch, but the rest, no. It's like basically watching the same movie, and except John Kramer, he's psychic. You know, he can see every, he knows everything, how it's gonna turn out perfectly. <clears throat> see, I don't want to talk more. Let's see, my stomach says otherwise. So, I better stop here. I mean, if you're looking forward to the next Saw film, good on ya. I'm not. I'm sure my. I'm, I'm. I'm sure my brother. I. He saw the trailer. He looks forward to it. To each their own. That's his. That's his ham. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.
and we'll see you next time. Later.